My mom always told me, mejor conocido que por conocer, meaning it's better to know than to risk. I guess it's a mom's thing to worry for their children, something that until then I didn't understand. A couple months back on my regular checkup, I had gone through a physical examination. The nurse asked for my mother and I to remain in the room until the doctor came back. As we were sitting in the cool room, my mother was nervous and concerned about what was the delay. She even questioned me about my sexual life. She began making inductive statements that bothered me. We couldn't understand the reasoning. After a long wait, or so it felt to me, the doctor finally stepped in. He asked me if I knew anything about HPV. I answered his question with the few facts I knew about it and he just nodded his head and smiled. After I was done speaking, he pulled out like a 5-6 to six page packet he had in his folder and went on explaining the other facts there was to know. There wasn't much to know about it, or so I thought. He then questioned if my mom was interested in paying $360 for three HPV vaccines. My mother asked questions about it, but since her English speaking abilities are limited, she understood little. We came to an agreement that we would have a discussion about it, and if we were interested, we would contact him. I arrived home with the packet that God knows what important facts it said. I had absolutely no interest in reading the papers, therefore I disregarded them. I could remember so little of what the doctor had explained. My memory was hazy and the few facts that I remembered were that it was $360 and the shots would be given to me within a six month period. It came back to haunt me. While I was sitting at the Knowledge River Summer Institution, a gynecologist who had done a PowerPoint presentation on HPV asked the group if any of us were familiar with the virus. The majority of us raised our hands signaling that we were somewhat familiar. As he gave examples and statistics about how the population is affected by this virus, we were able to inform others about it. That day I remember I went home and summarized to my mother what I had learned. The most important idea I had was HPV. I let her know what were the pros and cons of the vaccine and I made sure I reminded her that they were the same shots my doctor was talking about. She became interested in finding out more. As I continued, she listened closely and I explained in detail. A week or so after I had informed her, she was anxious to investigate anything on HPV online. She was successful in finding information but failed to understand it. The main words that she understood were HPV, vaccines, and death. She quickly made inductive reasoning and concluded that about 8 girls had died because of the injections. As I discussed these facts about HPV to my mentor, she didn't think about it twice and researched it on the web. She then corrected me and said that they had taken the vaccine but the reasoning for their deaths were not related to it. Now I was confused. I knew little about the virus, but yet I was too lazy to look it up. With the help of research, I was able to research HPV on reliable websites. I had remembered the steps to revising a website and deciding if it was credible or not. Medline Plus was the one to provide all the information I needed. When I found the facts that satisfied my ambitions, I became more familiar with the vaccines and the virus as well. If I had gotten the vaccine for human papilloma virus, I would have taken a risk. Knowing so little about this virus and taking the vaccine would have made me seem ignorant. Now that I am familiar with the virus, I can ponder whether this vaccine is suitable for me. Now my situation can no longer relate to my mother's quote because thanks to research, I am now educated enough to know how to search any health-related issue that I may encounter.